Here is Newton's second law, and it looks pretty wordy, and it's maybe a bit longer than F equals MA, which you might be used to perhaps from previous work. And he basically says that the rate of change of momentum of an object is directly proportional to the resultant force acting upon it, and the change of momentum is in the same direction as the force. And it's this last bit here that people often sort of forget about. Now we can write the same thing as the force is proportional to delta P over T. So this is just our change of momentum with respect to time. And we can uh, get rid of the proportional sign and put an equal sign in, provided we measure everything in SI units. So force in newtons, momentum in kilogram meters per second, and time in seconds. So effectively, if you want to change the momentum of an object, perhaps make it go faster, then what you need to do is you need to apply a force on that object, it will accelerate, and therefore its momentum will change. But let's now think about something, you know, perhaps like this car, that where the mass does not change, and there's maybe some kind of uniform acceleration. Uh, what we can say, perhaps, is that uh, the change in momentum, uh, delta P, is going to be equal to the final momentum, which is mv, minus the initial momentum, which is mu. If I put this back into the equation, I can say that the force is equal to mv minus mu over t. And if I take out the m terms, I can say that f is equal to m multiplied by v minus u over t. And uh, if you see this uh, thing here, that you should sort of uh, recognise where the acceleration comes from. Acceleration is just this change in velocity with respect to time. So what I can say then is that f is equal to ma. And this is a shorthand version of Newton's second law. And this is true for maybe sort of 80, 90% of the cases. I mean, really strictly speaking, if a car is accelerating, then as it gets faster and faster, um, you know, we are losing uh, some of the products from the combustion out of the exhaust pipe. And in actual fact, the car, maybe the mass doesn't stay the same. It gets lighter as it accelerates, or perhaps as it accelerates, it maybe gains mass from maybe mud that's splattering up off the road. Uh, there's also some really big examples perhaps where you maybe have a space shuttle. And as the space shuttle uh, is launching up into space from the Earth, or when they, did, when they did launch it, what it's doing, the rockets at the back, they're throwing out lots and lots of material. And actually, over time, the mass does go down significantly. So maybe um, if you look at an example like this, F equals MA isn't the appropriate react, uh, equation to use. And maybe a more appropriate one might be F is equal to the change momentum with respect to time.